Coming up next hour, however, Charlie's been sleeping with his sister's husband, so I do think that he needs to be spoken to immediately. Charlie is 28, calling from Queens. Charlie. Yes, Wendy. I can't stand you for doing this. You can't stand me? No. Hold on, hold on. Even though it's not really his fault, it's more like... what you were saying? Fault. You heard me. Like, no. like, why would you... You know the husband. Um, he's he's the, the bigger person at fault. Hold on, Wendy. I got to turn the radio down. Now, what you said that? No. you be ready um, next time. I'm reading from Bobby Brown. All right, let me... I was only playing with him. I want to see what he does. Charlie? Yes. Hi. How you Here's doing? the thing. Charlie. Yes. That's your... Auntie Wendy. How you doing? No, Charlie. That's your sister. And I was I was sleeping with him before my sister got married to him, though. This is the kind of family crap that ruins Christmas. Here we go. Huh? How long were you sleeping with him before your sister um, started sleeping with him? About a year. Okay, so and he, they got married back in 2004. Were they dating before you all were sleeping together? Yeah. So then I she, never knew that he was dating my sister. Okay, so um, um, to to me, you and he are both equally wrong then. Does your sister? Well, how does, do you figure that we're both equally wrong, though? Because you knew. Okay, Charlie. All right. Yes. Let, let's just talk straightforward, okay? Because we only have short breaks, okay? Huh? How long has your sister been married to him? Oh, this is four years now. Okay. Since now, July of 2004. And you've been sleeping with him for all four years? Yes, I have. Okay. And so now, does your sister even suspect that she's married to a gay man? No, she don't know. Okay. Is your sister really, really happy with him? Yes, she is, and they have a child and all of that together. Okay, so then what is your question today, Charlie? I mean, I just came home from doing a bid, and what happened was I had told my sister the other day I needed to borrow some money to pay this ticket to get my license restored. So lo and behold, instead of her coming to bring me the money, he came and brought the money. So when he came over, we was downstairs at my grandfather's house and whatever. And he you know, normally I love a good tale like this, but I find nothing funny or entertaining about any of this. Mm. Go ahead. So anyhow, you know... One thing led to another, and I was laying on my bed, and I was doing some some um, filing of stuff for my grandfather's paperwork, and then he, and away, he kissed me, and we got it popping. Yeah. So, um, Charlie, um, what is your question today? I mean, my sister called me this morning, and she said something about he noticed he's acting real funny, and she wants me to give her advice. How can I give her advice when I'm sleeping with her? Well... You know what? You're going to have to decide this one on your own because you're going to hell either way. First of all, oh, yes, you going to say that? Because you are. You know why? Because you're coveting a married man. He's going to hell because he's coveting you. This has nothing to do with the gay thing. This has to do with it. You know what the hell you're doing to your sister. And by the way, what were you in jail for? How long were you there? I was in jail for two years for money laundering. I got caught with men code. <laughs> of course. A queen's ransom. <laughs> you was, I love it. I you, love you, with me. You was boosting out of sacks? I know, baby. I don't boost. That's oh. a crackhead, darling. I was using people's credit cards. And oh. Stuff. Oh. Well, that certainly makes you a higher up on the that's on the totem right, pole of, right. yes, of stealing. <laughs> yes. No mm-hmm. booster, darling. Never that. And if you know where I go to get all my men coats from, from Dimitri's. Shout out to Dimitri's for hers. Oh, well, now, is this really true? Because now I'm going to call them and let them know that I spoke to you. Who? Oh. My friends, Demetrios. No, I don't do I don't do my things with Demetrios. I paid straight up money with Demetrios. I went out to Long Island to this old white queen. Oh, okay, out. okay, Demetrios. I pay cash money with Demetrios. Damn though, right, because they got security in that piece, and their yes, coats are tight, new. Though. Yes, it's honey. Tight. Yes, yes. So when are you going to have your next party up in Demetrios? I can't. Why are we going from sleeping? With I can't. I can't. Demetrios Furs is on 30th Street in Manhattan. They do have the flyest uh, fur coats and the best prices. Security is tight. Their showroom is very big. And their prices are terrific. Shout out to um, Bill and Pete and the, into- the whole Demetrios family. The party is on the 28th, but back to you. Yes. You look down for the remainder of the holiday. Ain't no what good. What do you mean look down? Look that where? down. I didn't say go. Da- I said look down. Oh, I thought you said like go down on him. I'm about to stay. What's your sister's um, telephone number? Let's call her together. You want to call my sister for real? Yeah. All right. Okay. 718. No, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to take the telephone number, okay? 
You, you there? Yes, I'm here. All, all right, we're going to do it together. Third party input in the next break. Damn a Bobby Brown. We got a live fish and hot dog on the hook. <laughs> we'll be back. Hate this show. Oh, shut up. Hello. Damn. Hi, may I please speak to Monique's assistant? Yes, this is she. Your first initial is K, right? Yes. Hi, it's Wendy from the radio. You're on. How are you? I'm fine. Are you? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Good. Um, I was speaking with somebody about. Your husband? Okay. Okay. Go someplace private. Is this your cell phone? Uh, hold on. Okay. Oh, God. I can't take it. Okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh. You sound lovely. Um, by the way, I'm sorry to hear about your grandmother. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. Your husband... Who's, um, whose street name starts with an S, like mm-hmm. Sam? Mm-hmm. He's sliding off. Okay. You know what that means, right? He's what? Sliding off. Okay. That means, Ew. how you doing? Oh. Okay. Okay. And, oh, we- and how'd you get this information? Well, I have somebody on the other line who's going to walk you through the whole situation. Okay. Your brother, whose name, whose initial starts with a C? Mm-hmm. Okay. How you doing? Yes, honey. Okay. In a big way. He told me about his bid, bid in Canada, his credit card. Yeah, fruity, tooty, fresh and fruity. Wow. Yes, mm-hmm. honey. Yeah. Your brother wants to speak with you after you get off, okay? What happened? Your brother wants to speak with you after you get off work, okay? Um, why does he want to speak with me when I get off work? Because he wants to hold your hand and walk you through the process. Hold on, okay? Okay. Hold on. Damn it. Damn it. No, C. Yes. I'm going to bring your sister up, okay? We're all going to talk together, okay? You ready? Yes. C, you there? Goose, you... C, you there? Yes. Okay. Uh, K, you there? K. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, the three of us are here. Okay. C? Yes. Tell K you want to talk to her after work. K, we need to talk after work. Why, what's the problem? I, 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 it's not really a problem, but I just, I just need to talk to you about something. God. Bring you up on your awareness about something. About what? Oh, my gosh. See, Auntie Wendy. You need to don't. tell me now, because I don't want to be lingering at work all day wondering about what it is. So tell me what it is now. Slugs has been flying off. With who? Mm. Ah, a chick or a man? Off. A chick or a man? A man, that's what we're saying. He's half. How oh you doing? God, Wendy, how are you going to do that? We already told you. We already agreed behind the scenes okay. we were going to talk. But we didn't say who it was. Something was wrong, okay? That's why I've been wearing rubbish for two years, okay? I knew something was wrong. Oh. Okay, so whoever it is, the broke back mountain bitch, you know, you get what I'm saying? Whoever he or she is. All right. When I see it, I'm gonna bust ahead to the white meat. Okay. It's gonna be some slow singing and some flowering, but not for me. But for my children. Okay. Can I just tell you something? Wow. Mm-hmm. I am down with the anger and busting head to the white meat, mm-hmm. but it's not a she; it's a he. Okay. It doesn't matter who it is. Okay. If they know that I'm, if they know who I am and know that he's my husband, okay. oh yeah. But not for. Okay. All right. For me, for my kids. But I'm going to wait to after Christmas and New Year's. We're going to have a nice end of the 2008 because of the kids. Damn okay? it. Okay? All right, Kay. Have a good day. All right. See, Wendy, okay, I love you, Wendy. I love you too, Kay. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. See, you stay exactly where you are. Uh, See, you still there? Wow. Yes. We just hung up on her. Mm, get prepared for the white meat. Uh, baby, say not me, though. Not me, unless he what, dropped down and tell that was me. Well, we're not talking. Wow, as long as you don't drop down on me, I'm good. Wow, wow, wow. Remember when you're talking to her, keep eye contact. Otherwise, the sign of a liar is when you start looking down right. and when you start right. scratching your nose or your ne- or your um, ears. Right. You got it? Yeah. Damn, how you doing? How you doing? And all right. Damn. Oh, wow. I can't with this show. We'll be back.